the next drainage pattern is a circular or annular drainage pattern see we have done centrifugal fugal drainage pattern centripetal drainage pattern now coming to the circular or annular drainage pattern don't confuse that the radial drainage pattern and the circular drainage pattern are same another point of mistakes in the examination circular drainage pattern is very different from the radial drainage pattern the radial drainage pattern also forms in the mountain circular drainage pattern also forms in a mountain but look here in the basic difference now the circular drainage pattern forms in the mountains where there is an alternate band of hard and soft rocks so as a result the soft rocks are eroded more as compared to the hard rocks and the tributaries flow through the soft rocks and join the master stream confused look at this diagram here it forms in the dome areas in the central areas it will form in the areas of a dome obviously even that was in the area of a dome but in this kind of a drainage pattern the main river will flow from the central part of a dome but the tributaries will join the main river flowing through the softer rocks in such an manner so it looks as if someone has built a ring or built a fencing around this kind of a drainage pattern so such kind of a drainage pattern is known as a circular drainage pattern or annual drainage pattern so it is found in the areas of it is found in the in areas which have hard and soft rocks and are highly eroded and are highly eroded obviously the in the areas of hard and soft rocks which are highly eroded the streams here are developed in the form of a circle the streams here like a circle so the circular or annular drainage pattern here also the main tributary main river will originate from the dome and flow in the different directions but the tributaries look here the tributaries will follow the softer rocks which have been eroded and join the streams at this angles and it looks as if one sir complete circle is being formed such kind of a drainage pattern is known as a circular drainage pattern example is drainage pattern of sonapet dome uttarakhand not that important to remember the example in this kind of a drainage pattern but you have to remember if the question comes the kind of a drainage pattern which develops in the areas having dome like structure which are highly eroded circular drainage pattern in the kind of a drainage pattern in which the streams join like a circle obviously they won't ask you circular you should know the other name kind of drainage pattern is an annular drainage pattern the example is sonapet dome now the other kind of a pattern is a barbed drainage pattern is an barb drainage pattern a drainage pattern is known as an barb drainage pattern now look here it develops here if this is an if this is a mountain there are 
टू रिवर्स विच आर ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम द टू अदर साइड ऑफ अ माउंटेन फ्रॉम द टू डिफरेंट साइड ऑफ अ माउंटेन दिस इज अ मेन रिवर विच इज ओरिजिनेटिंग एंड फ्लोइंग इन दिस काइंड ऑफ एंड डायरेक्शन and this is a smaller river on the other side the blue one is a smaller river which is originating and flowing in some other kind of a direction obviously the volume of this red color river is so high and because the volume of a river the speed of a river is greater you remember that the erosional capacity of a river or the capacity of a river to remove the or to erode the mountain will be higher so over the period of time this river will erode the red the color river will erode this mountain and because it erodes this mountains obviously this red color river will go inside the mountains that is obviously how it can, it can erode if it can remove the mountains by the water by chemical weathering by physical weathering or by the erosional activity of a river and over the period of time this kind of a drainage pattern will develop when the complete erosion will occur the red color river will take away the waters of a blue color river so the kind of a drainage pattern which was originally this way will look like the mountain has been eroded from between and it will look like as if the blue color river has changed its direction and it is joining the red river in the form of an hook does it doesn't it look like an hook such kind of a drainage pattern which looks like an hook is known as a barbed drainage pattern in which the tributary joins the main river like a hook see the original direction was it was flowing southwards now it is flowing the northwards so such a phenomena in which this river has a captured the waters of the other river is known as in river capture does it happen yes tista which was once a tributary of river ganga as now the tributary of river brahmaputra example of a river capture so the barbed drainage pattern barbed kind of a drainage pattern occurs in the regions of river capture it occurs in the areas of an river capture and what the tributaries join the main river at in the form of an hook the tributary here joins the main river in hook like form the tributary joins the main river in the hook like form so the kind of a river pack so kind of a drainage pattern so river capture means you should remember the barb drainage pattern why it is barb because it joins like an hook example is as i have told you in the river brahmaputra example is river indus these are the two important examples you remember so this is the barb drainage pattern the last kind of a drainage pattern which we have we will be doing is a very simple kind of a pattern known as an parallel drainage pattern now look here consider the western side of india the western ghat region 
this is a straight mountain which is very very near to the coastline as a result because the mountain is very near to the coastline it is like a straight mountain and this area also gets lot of rainfall that is it is a common thing over there that is very heavy rainfall because the first monsoon stream comes and hits the western ghat region as a result numerous streams which develop in the western ghats region the streams develop on the western side of western ghat and flow and meet the arabian sea now they do not develop into full scale tribu rivers because the because this the distance between the coastal region here is very small as a result this rivers look like they are flowing parallel to each other such kind of a drainage pattern which develops in the areas in the coastal regions where there are high mountains or there is a complete mountain there is an a continuous mountain system running parallel to the coastline is known as an parallel kind of an drainage pattern example is drainage pattern of an western ghat region so it develops in regions here rivers flow parallel to each other to each other generally develops in the areas develops in areas where high continuous mountain is parallel to coastline is parallel to coast is parallel to the coast example is the drainage pattern on western side of the western ghats western ghats now when the winds come they obviously this is the side where the winds will be coming from sea to the land such side is also known as windward side of the western ghat why it is developed because numerous small streams small rivers originate numerous small rivers originate and they flow and they flow parallel to each other joining the arabian sea why parallel to each other because of narrow coastline because of narrow coastline because of narrow coastline how can you show it in the diagram you can just show this diagram western side of an western ghat some half diagram western ghat region and the rivers originating from the western ghat region numerous rivers which go and join the arabian sea now that is in the western side of an western ghat so this is an parallel drainage pattern now this ends our drainage pattern you see how the different kind of a drainage pattern develops now whenever you look at that last try to see 
whenever you look try to look at the beauty of the atlases means how to look at the atlas see how try to look at the beauty of a geography so how a particular river if amazon river is there how is it flowing what kind of a drainage pattern is there is it flowing in a flat region dendritic pattern mississippi why dendritic pattern indus river system what kind of a drainage pattern is it rectangular is it trellised indus river flows between two which mountain system we all will be doing it in indian geography but if you can do it now it will be more like a revision more stronger in your bed brain because the more you process more it becomes imbibed in your hand and head and you will remember it during the examination you will remember it while giving the answers you will remember it while writing the mains examination making your answers unique supplement with examples fetching you very very good marks one one mark difference will make that in your rank and obviously so try to imbibe everything try to use your atlas after my lectures try to look at the atlas bagmati river why why because kathmandu it is a valley region valley means depressed region okay so so obviously what kind of entry inland kind of a drainage pattern make the notes of the lecture i am dictating here just don't look at it try to make it because when you will make the notes when you will write the notes there will be more processing you will be involved more deeply and more strongly you will remember so the kind of a drainage pattern we did systems we did in the previous lecture drainage pattern so again i am revising drainage pattern means shape size geometry or special arrangement in the location what are the different kind of a drainage patterns one there is the trellised drainage pattern in the areas of the folds joining the main tributary at right angle second dendritic or tree like drainage pattern on the vast area having same kind of an rock structure gentle slope tree like the most common kind third is the rectangular drainage pattern in the areas of folds in the areas of zones of weakness here also the tributaries join at right angles but the difference between rectangular and the trellised is rectangular widely spaced trellised densely spaced then sentry fugal type of a drainage pattern streams diverge from a central point in the areas of a mountains in the area of a dome mount abu sri lanka inland kind of a drainage pattern or centripetal kind of a drainage pattern where from the central high point all the rivers will come and form a lake or go into depression such kind of a drainage pattern inland drainage pattern example is drainage pattern of kathmandu valley region example will be where if look at the map of haryana which does it have a same kind of a drainage pattern then we came at a barbed drainage pattern in which the river tributary rivers joins the main river like a hook so it is a typical example of a river capture look at the indus river look at the brahmaputra river parallel drainage pattern western ghat region so it is an example where because the coast is so narrow the western ghat is so near to the coastline that is if you stand at the edge of western ghat you will see the mountain here high on the western coast if you stand on the near the arabian sea on the western coast and look towards the eastern side you also look at the you can see the mountain so narrow is the coastline and here therefore the rivers are not completely developed they come and meet the sea and resulting into parallel kind of a drainage pattern okay so with this we have finished the drainage pattern now next topic is erosion keep revising keep watching and keep making the notes okay so thank you very much